Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Carolyn. And as you can probably tell from the title, this video is going to be my makeup collection and small declutter. Um, it's everything except for eyeshadow palettes, which will be in the next video. So if you're interested in seeing my makeup collection, then just keep on watching. <music> Okay, so I did an inventory video in J June or July. I think it was July. Um, I'll link that below in case you're interested in comparing what I have now to what I had then. It has grown a bit in the blush and highlighter category. And this is due to some friends sending me some makeup that they decluttered, which I'm very appreciative of. And I'm also going to be putting timestamps in the description box. So if you're interested in a particular category, you can check that, check the description box and jump around. And uh, I'm sorry for the state of my hands. They are dry. So I hope that doesn't bother anyone. But anyway, let's just get started. So I'm going to start off with face primers. So for face primers, I have two and I like them both. This one. I have repurchased. This is my second tube of it. I got this off of the recommendation of Brittany Ray, and I'll put a picture of her channel here. I uh, got that idea from her from, actually, she, she gave me a shout out in one of her recent videos and did a screenshot of my channel. But anyway, so yeah, I this was a recommendation from Brittany Ray, and I do really like it. I've already gone through one of these and repurchased it. This one is I'm um, somewhat new to me. I like it. Um, it just doesn't work as well over my uh, tinted moisturizer. This is like my only foundation product that I have. So um, anyway, this one works better over this, but uh, this one is a gripping primer. And so this one is silicone free, but it feels very, it feels kind of silicone-y, but it gives like a very smooth base for, and this blends really well over it. I just use brushes. I don't use a sponge. So, um, yeah, these two work really well. This one works just as good at keeping my makeup on, but this blends a little bit more streaky over this one. So, yeah, but I like them both. Um, so I'm, I do want to try like a couple more primers. I don't want to get more than five primer. I don't want to have more than five primers, but um, there are a couple that I want to try. So yeah, right now I have two. And so I have um, two of these. I have one that's a little bit darker and one that's my, like I use this during the summer time. And right now I'm using this one. This lighter one is in the shade Fair. This is in the shade light medium, which is lighter than the light shade, so I don't fully understand that, but I I decluttered. I had this in the light shade, which I gave to my sister-in-law. I think she has a little bit deeper skin than me. Um, so yeah, I've, re I've gone through a bottle of this already um, in the light medium shade, I think. So yeah, I will continue to repurchase these, but... I um, do want to try out more foundations so and again probably like five would be my limit and I know that's kind of increased since when I did my inventory video in, in July um, I think my limits were a little bit lower uh, like I think I didn't want more than three but I think I'm okay with getting up to five anyway concealers I have again like one brand so this is the Maybelline fit me and this is the one I'm using now it's in the shade 10 fair and then this was one I was using in the summertime it's in the shade 15 light um, I've repurchased this this concealer as well and I feel like I want to try a couple more concealers so um, Hopefully, I'll be trying a couple more in 2023. But, yeah, I know that this works for me, so I've just bought it again because I just wanted something that I knew would work. So, yeah. So, I have two concealers, but they're the same 
<laughs> they're just different shades. And then face powders. I have two. So this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent and then the setting powder. And um, this broke. So I'm trying to just use it up. But I've gone through probably like six of these. <laughs> um, and and uh, I just continue to repurchase this. Um, I will definitely be repurchasing this when this runs out. I haven't seen it at Walmart, which is where I normally have gotten it, but I'm, I have seen it on Amazon, so I'm going to be repurchasing this when it runs out. This is the first time the lid has broken on me, and I think it's, it has to do with when, when we moved. Because we, we moved at the end of last year, so I think that this broke during the move. But anyway, so that's a continual repurchase for me. And um, this one is the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder. And I just hate the packaging on this. Uh, the lid actually like snapped in half, so I have it taped together. And um, yeah, the packaging just isn't what my my favorite. I do really like the product, but I'm going to try something else next when this runs out. I did recently repress it. Um, it's just about, it's it's almost gone. But when this runs out, I'm going to, I'm not going to repurchase it. Okay, so on to bronzers. Um, I have two. I have one cream and one powder. So the cream one is the one from Revolution. Um, I do really like this. I have only tried this one in the e.l.f. cream bronzer. And I like this a lot more than the e.l.f. one. That's just my personal preference. And how I apply this is I go in with... A small brush like this and kind of put it around the parameters of my face and then I buff it out with a with a buffing brush like this so that's worked really well for me um, so I really do like this one and then my powder bronzer is the elf I think it's discontinued but it's the primer infused um, bronzer in the shade forever sunkissed is the shade I do like this one. Um, the packaging broke, so that's a bummer. I have a couple other things with broken packaging that I do kind of want to like depot and have just kind of um, a face palette with <laughs> the just the compacts and not have the broken packaging. But anyway, so I just have two bronzers. Um, I'm good with this, but I'm I might I'm okay with getting more too. I don't think I'll get too many more bronzers, but I might get. A couple more we'll see <laughs> okay so next is going to be cream blush and I have four super shocks and then this Fenty one so these three were sent to me from Misty um, this is the Fenty in summertime wine I really like this one Uh, that's what that one looks like. I really like that one, so I'll, I'll be keeping this one. This one, I think, has gone off. Misty said that hers has gone off, that she got around the same time. But it does smell... It smells like Play-Doh. I don't know if it's supposed to smell like that, because I didn't smell it when it, I originally got it, but I don't know... Let me know in the comments <laughs> if it's supposed to smell like Play-Doh. If it's expired, I'm going to get rid of it. But otherwise, like, it's good. I mean, I like it okay. Um, I don't know. I don't really like these liquid blushes as much. I'm glad that I got to try it. I really appreciate her sending this to me. Um, but I like the the more cream highlighters more because there's, like, more pigmentation um, they work over, in my experience, the cream ones work better over, like, my t foundation or my tinted moisturizer. Um, I just find, like, these just don't, they kind of, uh, disrupt what's underneath a little bit more. So, yeah, I won't, anyway, <laughs> it's okay. Um, I just, I won't be repurchasing them this or like the other ones that are liquid like this. Anyway, I have four 
Well, let's do this one. So this is um, this is actually the Elf Putty Bronzer. I finished the Elf Putty Bronzer, so I used this container for a cream blush, which was a lipstick from Flower Beauty in the shade Spice Petal, which is a really pretty shade. And so I've been just using it as a blush, as a cream blush, and that's been working well. This is one I hope to finish in the new year, or in 2023. And then um, it's four Super Shock sh blushes. So this one is in Georgette. Um, I'm not going to be buying any more cream blushes right for until I use these up because I just they go bad faster, and I just I don't need that many cream blushes. Um, <laughs> so that's a really pretty shade though. It's actually pretty similar to. that uh, liquid blush. Anyway, I do like this shade. I like all of these shades, by the way. I'm going to wipe my hand off. Okay, so this is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Cruel Intentions. This is a matte. Um, this is one I'm trying, I've been trying to use up. I think it might dry out soon. I don't know. It, it still feels fine. I've just heard that... Um, these dry out fast so I'm not sure I this these are my first um, time trying I mean this is my first one of the Colourpop Super Shock cheeks so and so far it's fine but I did get it last year so that's that one this is the Tinkerbell one in um, Darling This is kind of a coppery, bronzy. I really like this one. Okay, and then last of the cream blushes is the Brute Flute. And this I kind of use kind of like a topper over the Cruel Intentions. Kind of see it works well as a topper over that shade. So yeah, I'm I'm happy with my cream blushes. I really enjoy them, but I, d I am going to um, use these up before I buy more. Next up is powder blushes. So the these were all sent to me by Misty, and this was sent to me by from Kim, Teacher Loves Beauty. And then this is the one I had before they sent me. So I had I just had one blush last time. <laughs> And now I have, there's four in here, four, six, seven, eight, nine, nine blushes. So I think I'm good on blushes. Like I'm not going to buy any more right now. I'm, I mean, I might buy more in the new year, but I really don't want more than 10. So we'll see. But um, I am actually going to, I wanted to see how similar these were. Um, this is the shade Luminoso. Um, it's like a, just a light peachy shade. I feel like most people know what that shade looks like, but this is very popular, but that's that one. And I wanted to see about this one. When I buy new blushes, I'm going to be per a lot pickier about the packaging. Like, I'm not going to buy, um, cheap packaging. Well, I might, th this is a really good formula. This is broken. Um, it, so this is different enough to keep it, but this is a really good, good formula and I will be depotting it so I might get more of these and just plan on depotting them and using them in a face palette but this is the essence blush in the shade um, befitting the packaging is not good everybody breaks at some point in time but it's just a good neutral kind of like universal shade so I hope you can see that but um, I this is like my go-to blush for like when I want just like a neutral cheek <laughs> so yeah I really like that one I'm gonna keep it and depot it I was thinking about getting rid of this one but it it does look different than the Luminoso I'm keeping the Luminoso this is a mini so I'm keeping that one so this is one 
I'm, I think I'm going to give to my sister-in-law. I've used it a couple times. Um, I just, I know that she wanted blushes, so I feel like this is a good neutral blush that she would enjoy. So I'm going to give this to her because I have other blushes that, um, do the same thing. So I'm going to declutter this, um, and then if she doesn't want it, I'll keep it, but, um, I'm going to sanitize it before I give it to her. Um, but it just, yeah, it kind of looks similar enough to the other ones I already have. So I think it's, I, yeah, I'm going to just get rid of that one. And this one I'm keeping, I this is the Milani blush in the shade um, Rose de Oro. I think, I think that's how you say it. Um... This is another kind of like bronzy shade. I really like this one for if a pink peachy look. If I need a blush that um, isn't pink or peachy, I go for this one. I've been using it a lot, so keeping that one. And then I'm going to just see. So this is the one that Kim from Teacher Loves Beauty sent me. So... Yeah, this is where I know I can get give that pass this on because I have this blush palette. This is the one in vanilla cream truffle. So yeah, th this is a great palette. It's like just neutral shades. I feel like I swatched that kind of awkward, but um, they're pretty light. So that's these. I actually. I'm going to see if my sister-in-law wants this blush. Um, if she doesn't want these, if she doesn't want either of these blushes, I'm going to keep them. But if she wants them, I'm going to pass these on to her. I'll let her know that the packaging is probably going to break. I think that she might get more use out of these than I will. So just because I have those other blushes. So I'm possibly going to declutter two. So that means I have... So I don't know if I mentioned, but I have seven cream blushes and seven powder blushes because I'm just counting this palette as four. So um, I might have nine if my sister-in-law doesn't want those other blushes. Okay, and then highlighters. So this was the only one that I had and then Misty sent me these. So um, the Essence Pure Nude, as uh, I am going to try to depot this. I don't know because I know it's baked, so it might be on like a terracotta plate or something. I don't really know. But I do know that... Let me wipe off my blushes. So I really like this highlighter shade. Um, it just really like blends in and meshes with my skin and just looks like light <laughs> it doesn't look like highlighter so I really like this one I'm keeping it and this one is the AOA halo in a more this one is a pink highlighter but it also like meshes well with my skin and it just adds like this brightness that's really pretty um so I'm keeping that one it is a light. It, it's it's kind of only good for me during the winter because it is so light. So, but yeah, that's a pretty shade. This one I'm thinking about decluttering. Have some, I don't know um, who, because Misty R actually sent me one of these when she sent me her the makeup she was decluttering. And it was brand new. So I'm going to give the brand new one to my sister-in-law. But um, I don't think, she, my sister-in-law's like new to makeup so I don't think she wants multiple highlighters I don't think she owns any highlighters so I don't know if she'll want this or if somebody else will want this but I don't really like it that much compared to like my other ones it's pretty and if if nobody else wants it I'll keep it but it's like it's it's gold and it just kind of sits on top of my skin it doesn't like blend in um it, and it kind of, when it, it sort of fades away and then just leaves like sparkles. So, um, compared to what I have, it's just not my favorite. 
but it's fine. If like my sister-in-law doesn't want this or nobody from like my husband's work wants it, if I can't pass this on to somebody who really wants it, then I'm just gonna keep it. Yeah, I'll be kind of cleaning the things up that I pass along and like sanitizing them and stuff, but I'm gonna try to declutter this one. This is a highlighter palette that I'm keeping though. This is from Odin's Eye. This is, oh, I forgot to mention, this is from Odin's Eye. It's the Norns Highlighter in Veil of, in Veil of Future. So, yeah. Um, but this one is the Soul Main Highlighter Palette. And I really like this one. So I will be keeping this one. These ones uh, are better than the other one because they actually do melt into the skin and blend and don't look like you're wearing highlighter, you know. Once you have, like, if you apply it with a brush and everything, it's does look different. It doesn't look like a streak is what I'm trying to say. Um, and, yeah, I just, I get, I use, I use these a good amount. Um, they're all a little bit different. I, I really like this one, or no, this one. Um, it just looks iridescent and sort of purpley, and it's just very unique, I feel like. And um, maybe it's not, <laughs> but it's unique to my, what I have. And so, anyway, I'm keeping this. So I have one, so four... So I have six highlighters, seven if I can't pass this on. But um, yeah, I'm good on highlighters. I definitely don't need more highlighters. Okay, moving on to lip products. Um, I don't think I'm going to be swatching all of these, but I will show them. Um, I have three lip liners. Um, I don't use lip liners all that much, so... I don't know if I'll be getting more. I don't really mind if I get more, but I don't really see myself getting too many more because um, I just don't really care about lip liner that much, but I have. I do really like this one. It's in the shade Ever but from NYX. Um, it's a good shade that goes with a lot of my kind of more browny lip colors. Um, so, yeah, and then I do use this red one from Wet n Wild. I'll probably swatch some of them, but not all of my lip products. But this is just a good kind of red. I would like more of, like, a burgundy, or this is a cool tone red, um, bright red. I, I would like a little bit of a deeper red shade for lip liner, but, yeah, anyway, so three lip liners. I have three liquid lipsticks. Um, I have your go-to from Revlon and Cowboy from L'Oreal. Uh, this is my most used one, especially during the fall. It's uh, it's kind of like a brownie nude. Um, it's that color. It's one of my most used lip products, so I'm yeah, I really like this one. This one's from ColourPop in the shade Beast. It was from their Beauty and the Beast or their Disney collection. I'm just giving these a quick sn smell test to see if they're still fine. Um, I do want to get this one used up this next year, hopefully. I think these all smell fine, and this is in the shade your go-to and this is one this is from Revlon um this is one where it's weird because it looks like it's going to be brown but then it like turns out pink and and it dries down like a different color than it goes on so it kind of goes on brown ish like you see in the tube but then it shears out and dries down to a pinky color So, once it dries, it turns pink. So, it's okay. Yeah, anyway, I have three lip products, or three lip liquid lipsticks, and I'm keeping all three. I have six lip crayons. Three are from ColourPop, 
and then this is from Neutrogena. This is another one of my favorite lip colors. This is in the shade Almond Nude. Um, this is one of my most worn lip colors. It just kind of goes with everything. It is a nude that isn't too brown or too pink. It's the perfect nude. I'm so close to being done with this. Actually, this is literally all I have left. So, uh, I'll probably repurchase this when I do run out. But, yeah, I've uh, this is one of my favorites. And then, um, this is my... I will purchase more of these Maybelline lip crayons. I will not purchase more of these lippy sticks from ColourPop. I just think this these lip crayons are just like a far superior formula in my opinion. Um, these are okay. This is like my my most worn of these. This is um, a brownish shade. This is in the shade Sassy from ColourPop. Um, I like that one. These other red shades, this is... These I don't like. These are the matte formula, matte X formula. And they're just very streaky. So, and then what you see on the, is it basically the color. Um, but they're just, they go on so streaky and they cling to all the dry patches and they're just not my favorite. So I might actually try to do, put these in, um, make a cream blush out of these with one of my lipsticks, which I'll get to my lipsticks in a second. This one I'm going to try to melt into a cream blush because it's very messy. It's the Revlon, uh, what are these, the Super Lustrous, Gla what are these, sorry, Super Lustrous Shine li Lipsticks. Um, it's just very messy and so I just, I want to melt this down and I was thinking these would go well together because these are very matte and this is very like, um, sheer creamy like emollient so i feel like the combination of these formulas would be good for a cream blush so that's kind of my plan um let me just make sure they all smell fine okay so yeah so these all smell fine I have four lip balms. I don't know if you would call this a lip balm, but it's like a sheer, it's a sheer slick. <laughs> That's what it's called. It's in the shade Black Cherry. It's, I think it's, I kind of treat it like a balm. You know, it's a colored balm, I guess. And then this is the Lip Smackers Dr. Pepper. And this has some color as well. I guess it's a lot more sheer than this one. Yeah, so I'm keeping these. Um, this one is expired, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Um, I always forget to use it. It's a, supposed to be like a sunscreen for your lips, but I forgot to use it a lot. So I'm going to get rid of this because it's expired. So three lip balms. I'm good with that. I don't feel like I need more. I'm not really like a huge lip balm person. I mean, I use them up and then um, like I've already used one of these up. So, um, I use one up and then I get more, so, yeah, although I will probably, I do, I do like this, so I'd be okay getting more of these, but, um, I'm okay, I do kind of want to expand my lip collection a little bit more in the coming year, so that, uh, I have lip pro lipsticks to go with every look I do, because right now, um, I do feel like I would like a little bit more variety. Then I have these three like lipsticks. I don't really know what you would call what this would classify as. I guess this is so four lipsticks. Um, I don't know what this would classify as because it's like a it says a powder lip cream, and yeah, it's it's just sheer. Um, yeah, I think I got this on major clearance. I don't know if they make these anymore. It's okay. I wouldn't buy more of these. These uh, NYX Power Puff, Powder Puff Lippies. They're okay. Um, they're interesting, I guess. Uh, that's that color. It's not a color I wear too often. But, yeah, it's just okay. Yeah, so that's that one. And then there's these three lipsticks. This one I already showed. Oh, and this was in the shade Glaring Coral. I forgot to say that, but yeah. 
And then this is in Mink. This is from, this is a Hannah Louise post and purchase. She always raves about this lipstick color. Um, I do really like this color. It's also, it's a brown. I guess I like brown shades. <laughs> and then this is, um, doesn't have a name. I know it's like a ColourPop Lux lipstick. Um, another sort of brown shade. So yeah, so these smell fine. I'm keeping, I know that this is new. I, I just recently got this. So let's see. I have three lips, like three bullet lipsticks. Uh, this, and then I have seven of these kind of crayon things. So I have 11 lip products here. And with the lip, with the liquid lipsticks, that's, 14. So, yeah, I still haven't gone through my lip glosses, but I only have three of those. Okay, so so then I have three lip glosses. Um, this is in the shade Soulmate from the Sephora Lip Balm, Lip Gloss Balm um, line. And uh, I really like this one. It's more of like a cool tone, like purpley shade. Um... I use it a lot for, this goes with a lot of looks I've been wearing lately. This is in Velvet Wine. This is another one I wear a lot. Um, I really like both of these lip glosses. I like all three of these lip glosses. And then this is like a clear lip gloss um, from Revolution. And it's kind of minty. So... I like all three of these, so I'm keeping all three. So total with all my lip products is 23 if I counted right. I'm pretty sure I did, but there's always a chance that I miscounted. But yeah, I have 23 lip products. Um, if I was saying that, it feels like a lot, but I still feel like I, <laughs> I want more like bullet lipsticks. And I just, yeah, I still want more lip products. So we'll see. Okay, so moving on to eye products. Um, these are just, again, everything but, like, eyeshadow. So, or eye, eyeshadow palettes. I have I have some, like, Super Shock uh, shadows and toppers here. So, I'll just get started. So, I'll start off with, like, eye primers. I have four products that I use as eye primer. I'm good with this amount. So this one I know is a concealer, but I use it when I do halo eyes because it's very yellow for me. This is the NYX Born to Glow in True Beige is the color. It's just really yellow for me. You can see there. So I just use it on my, as a, like when I do halo eyes and that works well. So I count it in my eye primer, like I have it in my eye primer section of my makeup um so yeah this one I will repurchase these two I probably won't repurchase the Milani um I do kind of want to get a MAC paint pot at some point but um I will continue to repurchase these two and uh, I cannot be without my NYX glitter primer I use this every time I do my makeup every time I wear a shimmer I use this with it so yeah, I highly recommend this if you don't have it. But yeah, so um, four eye primers. Uh, I'm okay with that number. It's I'm I might get a Mac paint pot probably after I finish the Milani. I have one a brow gel. I think I'm I don't really like this. It's very gloopy. It's and sorry, it looks kind of gross because I <laughs> use it in my brows. But it's not doing it now, of course. But it's very like oh see. I don't know if you the if I picked up on that, but it's it's gloopy. It's not my favorite. It's not one I would repurchase. I want to get that NYX Stick It Stick It Brow Gel, whatever it's called. Uh, over. I want to try a different brow gel, but this is this is the brow gel I have, and then I just use eyeshadow in my brows. I have two eyeliners, one black and one, or they're both black and one's liquid and one's pencil. And I do have an, a backup of, oh, I have this one. I, I'm going to get rid of this, um, decluttering it, because this is a liquid liner. And I don't, I hope you can see uh, the little, like, how it's fraying. 
another. So I've got to get rid of this one. It's It ruins my makeup looks. Um, and I just don't have time for products that ruin my makeup look. Um, so I'm decluttering this one. This is the second time this Physician's Formula that's happened to me. This one, So I won't be buying Physician's Formula liquid eyeliner again. I have a backup of the Milani eyeliner. It's the Stay Put After Dark. This is the Cole one uh, from Milani. I don't like it as much as this one. It doesn't, this one stays, actually stays on my waterline. This one doesn't. So I'm going to use this up. I don't have a lot left, but um, I do have this backup for when I use it up. And this one is okay. I want to, I don't know. I haven't, I still haven't found like my perfect, um, see it's starting to fray as well. So maybe just brush tips aren't like the best for me. I must like not put the lid on right, but I mean, I try to put it on right. But anyway, I do like this better than the physician's formula because even when these fray, it's still like fine enough to where it still works. Although... I see that little bubble there. Yeah, it's kind of getting to be like a little bit of a mess. So I may be getting a new eyeliner soon, liquid eyeliner. But yeah, I struggle with liquid eyeliner. I felt, I tried the um, felt tip one from Milani. I forgot what it was called, but it was a really popular one. It was like felt tip. Oh, it was like the tank, the tank eyeliner. I hated that one. Um, so I'm still on the hunt for... That sound is my dog chewing on a, a bone. Sorry if you can hear her, but I, I'm i still on the hunt for my, like, go-to perfect repurchase liquid liner. I haven't found one that I would want to repurchase. I had repurchased the Physician's Formula one, but I'm not going to repurchase that one again. Anyway, um, yeah, so these are my eyeliners. I just kind of like to have one liquid and one pencil, retractable pencil at all times and I use them both pretty much every day. I don't really need more than two. So yeah. For mascara I have two and then I have a backup. This one is from a suggested by Hannah Louise Poston, which she recommended the uh, Milani Highly Rated or yeah and I really enjoyed that one, so I'm going to, and she apparently likes this one more, so I'm going to try that one because I really love the Milani Highly Rated. I liked it more than this one, the Anti-Gravity one. This is okay. I don't know if I'll repurchase it. It's it's good. I know this, this gets a lot of hype. It's fine. Like, I don't know. It's good. I mean, I, and so then I have this one. And sometimes I use these together. I do like layering my mascaras. But yeah, this is the last pr Essence Lash Princess. And I won't buy more of these. These are these are another ones that's like just okay. They are good for the price. But probably not some ones I would like go out of my way to buy again. They're just okay to me. So yeah, I'm excited to try this one though. And these are kind of on their last legs, so I may be pulling this out soon. And lastly, my Super Shock. So this is not a Super Shock or a, an eye topper. This is actually a highlighter, but it's squishy like a Super Shock shadow. But it's also very blue. Like, I cannot pull this off as a highlighter. I don't know who could, but <laughs> this was another one that Misty sent me because um, she didn't like it. Or she didn't want it. And I can see why. Because it's blue. I've not been into, like, I've never been, I haven't been into, like, the colored highlight, colored highlighters. But, um, like, the actual color highlighters. But, so, anyway, I use this as kind of, like, how I would a Super Shock shadow. Except it has, like, double the product. So, I don't know if I'll ever get through this. I would pass it on. Except it's all, like... It's clearly been used, and I don't know who would want that, so <laughs> I'm keeping it. But, yeah, it's... Anyway, I have this one. And then I have these Super Shocks, and this one is in Ritz, and this one is in Never Grow Up. I really like Ritz. I mean, this is, like, such a pretty topper shade. And then 
Never Grow Up from the Tinkerbell collection. And this is another one that is just like a good topper shade. I don't really wear these as one and done shadows. I know that you that some people do, but for me they like crease. If I if I just use them on their own, even with a primer, um, so I just I use them as topper shades, and they're fine with the, when I do that. This one I'm gonna actually declutter because uh, it constantly dries out. It doesn't add any value to my collection. I just I'm like keeping it just to use it up, but. I don't, I don't like it because it always dries out and it's like messy to use, you know, like I have to, it sometimes ruins my eyeshadow look underneath because you have to like spread it. I don't know. I just, I don't like it that much if I, and it's like flaky and crumbly and I can't, it, but the thing about it is it, it's pretty, like it's a pretty shade, but I have enough pretty eyeshadows that I don't need this and I I just don't enjoy it and I can use it on its own but I don't really want to. I don't know. It's pretty but like it was a dollar eighty from ColourPop. It was on clearance. So I think and it came to me sort of dried out. So I just don't really need to hang on to it and I don't like it and I have used a lot of it. I definitely feel like I got my money's worth out of it. I'm glad I tried the this this formula. But um yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to declutter this. So that leaves me with three um shadow topper like the I don't know. This is basically like a super shock as far as the texture, but three of these and so that is that is my eye that is my entire makeup collection outside of eyeshadow palettes, which will I will be filming my eyeshadow palettes next and posting that video next. So stay tuned for that. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I will see you in the next video.